What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys Archer Ludon in Ranked Regulation G. Now, when it comes to Archer Ludon in previous formats, this Pokemon was used all the time and for good reason. He was amazing in previous formats. Now, in Regulation G, we have seen its usage dip. So I'm here to show you guys that this Pokemon is still super powerful. Now, this Arch Ludon set is different from most Arch Ludon sets. Instead of stamina and the whole like, body press kind of set, this one's running stalwart with crazy strong damaging moves. It's got safety goggles as item with the ghost terror type, electro shot, Draco meteor, steel beam, and last but not least, it has protect. So, super excited to use this Pokemon. A restricted Pokemon on today's squad is going to be Choice Scarf Kyogre being able to outspeed a lot of different meta Pokemon. It's got Drizzle with Water Spout, Hydro Pump, Origin Pulse, and Ice Beam. Love this moveset. Another off meta Pokemon that we are rocking out with is going to be Electabuzz with Vital Spirit, Evo Light, and then Thunder Follow Me Faint Protect. Great little support Pokemon that can actually do some nice damage with Thunder. Our final three Pokemon feature Rillaboom, Serena, and Tornadus. I love Serena on Kyogre teams considering you can protect them from other Rillabooms. Rillaboom's great because, you know, Grassy Surge and Grassy Glide is amazing. And then Tornadus is Tornadus. Perfect support Pokemon for Kyogre given it speed control and even more weather control on the team. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to like it up and subscribe to the channel. Well, without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Archer Ludon in Regulation G. We're going up against a Miraidon team here in match number one. And whenever I see Miraidon and I have Rollboom on my team, I always have to bring it. We just need to win that terrain battle and keep Miraidon under control. But they also have Wimscott. They got Incineroar. Furthermore, they got Ursaluna for a graph for that Trick Room combo. And then they got Rock Ogre Pine. Um, Who should I bring here? How should I actually do this one? I could go into like Archaludon and Tornadus, which isn't bad because I do have Steel Beam, which actually takes out terrain, which is great. Hmm. Do I do that? Do I think they lead me right on? They could lead Whimsicott here as well, which could be a little tough for us. But you know what? I think we just go into uh, Tornadus Kyogre, and then we bring Rillaboom and Arch Ludon in the back end. I think that's our best option, right? I like that. I think that's good for us. We don't really have to worry about any first turn priorities except for Fake Out on the Sin Warp. So I really don't want Serene here, and then. I like the buzz not too hot here i mean it's not super effective onto any of those pokemon so i like the squad that we're bringing here. i like the squad that we're, that we're bringing especially with the choice scarf on kyogre if they don't need a fake out user we can just go right into water spout because i don't think they have any y guard users on this team either we'll see it's gonna be whimsicott and mirai which i don't mind um is whimsicott faster that's the real question is whimsicott faster than tornadus i kind of hope so because it seems like they just want to pop Sunny Day. I mean, I can change up terrain right here, right now. Which wouldn't be a bad call for me. I got speed all day with this choice uh, scarf. We're going to be able to outspeed uh, Miraidon. Unless they go for Tailwind. But my thing is, I want that Whimsicott to be faster than us. And I think it is. I'm going to say that that Whimsicott is faster than us. And he's going to pop a Sunny Day. Because so I'm just going to go into a Rain Dance here. And honestly... I think we just terrestrialize and go for water spout. You know what? No. No, 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 We're focused, Ash. I'm going to go for a Bleak Windstorm here. Even in the sun, look for a speed drop. And I'm just going to swap Kyogre into uh, Rillaboom. Quite safe, quite smart. We'll save our Kyogre. We got the Choice Scarf. We can always bring back Rain later, so... I'll bring out Rillaboom and just kind of keep this Miraidon on under control. By not allowing it to have this terrain, right? Plus, if he wants to go into Electric Shot into my Rillaboom, we should soak it decently well. So that comes to terrain control. Tailwind ends up going out for Wimsy Cod. So that's not bad for us. That is not bad for us at all. And he's going to go for a Draco Meteor in the slot, which is actually kind of smart. Rillaboom still soaks, which is awesome. And we're going to be able to get off this Bleak Wind Storm, which is gorgeous. Bleak Wind Storm doing beautiful damage, bringing Wimsy Cod down to 1 HP. Um, I have a feeling me Rhydon's going to swap here. So he might as well just fake out the Wimsy and KO it. And... Yeah, and maybe just attack again with uh, with another Bleak Wind Storm. Because Miraidon's probably going to swap. If it doesn't swap, then we're just going to use our Focus Hash, which is good. So I'm cool with just doing that and going for a Fake Out here. I could actually U-turn Pivot. But then Wimscott outspeeds me and can KO my Rollaboom. We might as well Fake Out and just go for the KO. Yep, there's the Withdrawal on Miraidon. We're going to be able to get off a free Bleak Wind Storm onto this Pokemon. 
And it's going to be Incineroar with Intimidate. So I wish I'd rather U-turn, but I don't want Wimscott just outspeeding me and, you know, doing its thing. So I want to keep Rollaboom for Terrain Control later. And I might have to hard swap Rollaboom here. I might have to just hard swap Rollaboom. And I could honestly just go into Kyogre. Depends what I want to do. A Bleak Wind Storm is going to land into this Incineroar. Can we get a speed drop on this thing? Even though we don't really need it. I would just like it. And we don't get it. So, I'm cool with this. They, I mean, they have Tailwind, but I'm not too worried about it. I'm not too worried about it. Um, From here, we're just going to go into another Bleak Wind Storm, I feel as. I feel like they're free. We don't have to set up Tailwind just yet. We don't have to. And I could just go into Kyogre at this point. Yeah, and just swap the Rollaboom back out. Yep, I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. So I'm going to bring out my boy Kyogre. Get that Chewy Scarf cooking. Maybe I should have brought out Archer Ludon, to be honest. But I really just want to swap my Rollaboom just so we can have uh, Terrain Control later. Because again, we do not want this to be ride on sitting in Electric Terrain. It just does too much damage. It's just not worth it. So I'd rather just swap the Rollaboom and keep that thing alive and save it for later. But we're going to see a withdrawal of Whimsicott. Which is a little odd. And Miraidon's gonna come out here and take this, uh... Take this Bleak Wind Storm, which is no big deal. I mean, I'm swapping Rillaboom this turn. Swapping my Rillaboom. I'm hoping they're faking out this slot, too, because I'm bringing out Kyogre. I got Kyogre. I don't mind going right back into Rillaboom here. And Bleak Wind Storm's going to double land. And they're not going for a fake out, which kind of sucks. Are they going for a knockoff? They're going for a foil blitz. That's totally fine. In the rain, Kyogre soaks that no problem. So yeah, I could go for Ice Beam here. I could set up my Tailwind. Um, I think best bet would just be Tailwind. Maybe swap back in the Roll Boom. Keep her Kyogre alive. I could go into Arch Ludon if I want to. It might swap what's it called. I don't think there's a point in setting up Tailwind just yet. I think we just go for another Bleakman Storm. <coughs> But yeah, I just want to swap in a roll boom again. There's no point in setting up tail Tailwind. Let's just keep chipping damage with Bleak Wind Storm. They're giving us free damage here. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to bring back out that terrain. Hopefully they do not swap the ride on. That'd be really good news for us. They was all Incineroar, which is totally fine. You're going back into Whimsicott. I'm going to go Ursa Luna comes out here. Ursa Luna comes out here, and we'll see a Terror type pop out here from your ride on. That's fine. So we get to see this thing's Terror type. We actually get to do probably more damage into this thing. And he's gonna go straight electric. Okay, so never mind. I thought it was gonna go into like a different typing, but he just wants to look to pick up a KO, which is totally fine on my end. The discharge gonna fly here. How much damage is this doing? Is it KO on my roll boom? I think it is. We have focus Ash, which is good. And I'm able to go for Bleak Wind Storm and then Tailwind next turn. And now since your Dragon Typing is gone, I can just go into Tailwind, Choice Scarf, Kyogre. And just level the playing field. And then have my boy in the back end. Wow, that actually did some nice damage onto Ursaluna. Not going to sit here and lie. Not going to sit here and lie. So yeah, now it's a perfect time to bring out my Kyogre. A perfect time to bring out Kyogre and just Choice into... uh. And just choice in a water spout. Because whoever they bring out here is going to die. Incineroar, gone. These Pokemon, gone. Um, Whimscott, low enough HP, gone. And then we have Arch Ludon in the back end. So here's that. And I could just go into Water Tower, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm not playing around. I need the damage right here, right now. We're going straight Water Terror, straight Tailwind. Played this one pretty well, to be honest. Just not, like, going for crazy things. Like, we just seen them kind of stand on the field and us allowed to just or they they allowed us just to drop leak wind storms and i didn't get like over over ahead of myself where i was just like oh we have to drop a tailwind we have to master speed like no we we're in that position where it's just like okay like you're not really posing a threat let's just go into bleak wind storms but kyogre's outspeeded no problem here tailwind and Shui scarf we're gonna take out me right on and, I mean, they'll probably go into Incineroar here, which is the only scary part. And I might even swap Kyogre into Archaludon. Because Kyogre can win this match on its own. In the Tailwind. Kyogre can win this match no problem in the Tailwind. 
So I think they bring out Incineroar. I think they want to fake out, and then we just swap our uh, Kai over here. Just to play it safe. And I can reset the rain. Yeah, so that's 100% what we're doing. A thousand percent. Because again, Kyra can just win this one on his own. And you don't even go into that. Um, you know, you can just set the rain dance now. You didn't go into your fake out. User. We're just going to set the rain dance now. We're just going to go into water spout. That's fine. I thought you were going to go into Incineroar. That was like your last hope. Was to fake out and maybe hope I wasn't swapping, but... Now you're just allowing me just to win this game. He goes for a tailwind. We're still out speeding. Thanks for playing. Bye bye, Wimscott. Bye bye, Ursaluna. Get a mowing out my face. Wish we could have used Archaluna on this match, but again, they were just allowing my my uh, tornadoes just to chip up damage. We played it perfectly. We got terrain control. Then eventually found the perfect position for Kyogre to hop in there and just do what Kyogre does. Water spouts in the rain. All day long, just picking up an easy win. But yeah, the final Pokemon's Incineroar War stands no chance. Even up against my Archaludon in the rain. My Archaludon can handle it. There it is, Tony the Tiger. They're just going to cancel match. Light work, baby. Light work. All day long. GG's to our opponent, though. They actually played this one pretty well. I just feel like we outplayed them there. It's not like they played bad and lost this match. But they end up just going for a fake out, and they KO my Tornadus. How dare you? How dare you? He's like, if I'm going down, this Tornadus is coming with me, which is so funny. There goes another Water Spout. It should be Scarf. Night Night Incineroar, and there's one I know to get things started. Moving on to our second match, and Kyogre thrived in match number one. Now, we're going up against a weird kind of team with Weezing. And now, Weezing's a weird Pokemon due to its ability, Neutralizing Gas, that takes away all other abilities. So, it's just a game changer. It's Pokemon with no abilities. It's just, it's a whole different game. But they got Rayquaza, they got Incineroar, they got Shen Pao, they also have Urshifu and Clefairy. But I kind of have to play this one like they're going to lead Weezing here. Which wouldn't be bad. I mean, Serene could be good here as well to stop all first turn priority. I mean, Rayquaza really thrives out here with like these speeds. Um, huh. How do I want to play this one? I like Tornadus and Arch Loot on here because I could set the rain with Tornadus without Prankster. Like, if they take away abilities, I can just set rain and have Arch Loot on just go off there. Then I'd like Kai over here, obviously. But last but not least, do we want to go, like, Rillaboom here? Or would we rather have Serene over here? Serene's not bad. I mean, we got Triple Axle. We got Power Whip. We got Helping Hand. Um, Triple Axle will help up against this Rayquaza. But other than that, nothing crazy. I mean, Power Whip into Urshfu. I mean, I can get down for this. But Rillaboom could also be good, right? Rillaboom's just a solid user. I'm gonna go Serene over here. I feel like stopping first turn priority could be big. I mean, you got Sucker Punch on Shen Pao, you got Fake Out on Incineroar, and more importantly, you got Extreme Speed on uh, Rayquaza and Urshifu. Both forms have a first turn priority move, Aqua Jet or Sucker Punch, whichever one it is. I like Serene here. I think having this ability could definitely help us win this match, but I would love to get out Arch Ludon, just start dropping Electro Shots, doing some big time damage, and just going from there. Let's see who they got leading. It's gonna be the Weezing and Rayquaza. It is going to be the Weezing and Rayquaza. Um, what do I even do here? I think I got to set the rain. I could swap into Kyogre if I want to, but I mean, that's actually not going to set the rain. So, Rain Dance is going to be our best friend. We're going to set it, and I could just go for Draco Meteor. I could Terrastalize here. Do, do we think you have Draco Meteor? Yeah, it's a possibility. I think we just... I think we honestly just take speed here. I think we go here and we just go with Terra Ghost and drop a Jerk of Meteor. Look to just get rid of Rayquaza. I am cool with that. I am cool with that. So we don't need the rain. We really wanted the rain just for Electro Shots. But I mean, if they're going to stay Dragon type here, Jerk of Meteor can do a big amount of damage. So I'm all on board with this. I'm all on board with this. So I go Ghost Terra just in case he wants to Jerk of Meteor me. And Rayquaza just protects. Come on, man. We don't like that. We simply don't like that. Tailwind's gonna fly. We got some speed control cooking here. And what's Weezing doing? That's the real question. Weezing, what's she doing? You burning? Is that what you're doing? You throwing Will O Wisp around? Possibly, right? You're gonna taunt. That's a little late taunt. We already got off our uh, Tailwind, but I would love to get off Rain Dance. But I think from here, I mean, I doubt your Fairy Terra, but who could you go into to soak the Draco Meteor? Clefairy. I doubt you have Clefairy, though. 
I doubt it. I think this is a free Draco Meteor, to be honest. And we'll follow follow it up with the Bleak Windstorm. I think it's a free Draco Meteor. If you Terrasilize, you're probably most likely normal. Draco Meteor still does nice damage. It's stab. It's stab. I don't think they want to stay in here for this. They're going to withdraw Weezing. They're going to be like, hey, yo, Weezing, get over here. Are you going to go into Incineroar, maybe? But Neutralizing Gas is gone. Shen Pao is going to come out here. So I got Prankster back. I mean, Sucker Punch is looking a little scary. I can swap into Serene if I want to. And we'll see a Terror type pop out here. All right. So Rayquaza into normal. Just playing a little bit more defensive. No way it's fair, right? Yeah, it's normal. Cool. So I mean, the combination of Bleak Windstorm and Draco Meteor could... Definitely KO this Rayquaza. Bleak Windstorm. Oh, it's missing. Come on, Bleak Windstorm. Rayquaza dodges it, of course. At least we get all Focus Ash on Shen Pao, which is good. Another Bleak Windstorm will finish off him. Draco Meteor's gonna fly. Bop, 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 bop. Big time damage. Cool. And what are you going for? You're going for Sword Stance. Um. Do I swap into Serene here? Because I'm, I'm, I'm thinking we just Bleak Windstorm and just swap into Serene. Because chances are... We have speed. They kind of want to go for E-Speed Sucker Punches. I think this is a fine swap for us. And we get our special attack back. Bleak Windstorm will KO the, uh, the Shen Pao. And I think it will KO the Rayquaza too. We just need to land it, right? We just need some RNG on our side. So I'm going to swap out the Arch Ludon. And let's see who you got. Let's see what you got. Sucker Punch E-Speed? Show it to me. Shen Pao's going to protect. This thing Sword Stance boosts it. And there's the E speed. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. Queenly Majesty comes out here. Bleak with Storm. I need you landing, though. I need you landing. I love you. Get this Rayquaza. <gasps> ah! <laughs> I wanted to dump on the Rayquaza. Um, all right. Calm down. We still got speed considering Tailwind's up for how many more turns? Tailwind's up for one. We could just swap. You for Kyogre set the rain and then have Bleak Windstorm double land. That's not a bad play for us. But Rayquaza might just protect here. Waste out the last turn of Tailwind. I think we just attack, right? I think we just double down into this, uh... This Rayquaza slot. Because it could go into Urshfu, so I'm just going to send a Power Whip that way. Which all on the Shen Pao side? Shen Pao getting after it. And Weezing's gonna come back out here. Weezing back out and about. Are you protecting Rayquaza? Most likely, right? Oh, you took away my ability. How dare you? Luckily, I got Focus Ash. How dare you take away my ability? That was actually a good play. Took away my ability, but still, Leekman Storm's gonna double land. We're gonna get rid of Rayquaza. How dare you take away my ability? But I knew Serene would come in clutch this match. I knew it. So Archer Ludon picking up some big time damage. Queenly Majesty on the Serena. Comes out, helps us out a little bit. And now we're missing Power Whips, huh? No, we connected. Cool. Doing a little bit of damage. Better than no damage, right? And there's your Citrus Berry. So he's going to Citrus Berry up. Um, I don't have Prankster anymore. I would love to set up another Tailwind if I can. But I think they're going to just throw out a faster Pokemon, right? Huh. You gonna go back into Shen Pao? I feel like Shen Pao would just have to go for Ice Spinner into my Serena. I feel like we're sitting in a great position as long as I can get off another Tailwind. It really depends on who they go into. It's gonna be Shen Pao. I, I wonder what they're gonna do here. I wonder if they, they leave my, uh, my boy on the field. And I'm just gonna try to Power Whip down this Shen Pao. I wonder who they attack. I feel like this is a good turn either way. He's going to Sucker Punch, which is fine. I mean, I soaked that all day. And now you allow me to get off a Tailwind and get rid of your Shen Pao. I'm super surprised. You were fastest on the field. You had a chance to KO whoever you wanted to. You could have just Ice Spinner or Icicle Crash, whichever one you had. It was super effective on the boat. And now you allow me to pick up a KO and set up Tailwind. This match is in the bag. It's in the bag. It's in the bag. Because I can just bring out Arch Ludon if I want to. I can go for Rain Dance. He didn't taunt me. And I'll save my Kyogre. I will save my Kyogre. But I don't want a choice into a move yet. I mean, and I, and I want to showcase Arch Ludon. It's going to be Urshifu. Is it Dark Urshifu? Water Urshifu. Yes! It's Water Urshifu. It is Water Urshifu. So now I can just do this. And just go into Electro Shot. We got speed all day long. 
We got speed all day long, and you can't hit me with a close combat. You can hit me with surging strikes, which would do a ridiculous amount of damage, but I think you just die out here, right? To this electro shot? Yep, you should, unless you're Focus Ash. Unless you're Focus Ash, but if I had to guess, Shen Pao was the one with the Focus Ash. You get that special attack boost. Archer Ludon! Ripping electro shot, pretty much solidifying the win all day long. That's my Archer Ludon, baby. I love me some Archer Ludon. I love me a big steel bridge. Sludge Bomb gonna fly, pick up the KO onto Tornadus, and now it's Kyogre and Archer Ludon, both at full HP, and Archer Ludon's plus one special attack against this little Weezing right here. Like I said, Weezing changes the battle completely. It was, this was kind of like a weird one, because again, no abilities, and I had to play it a bit differently, but I feel like I played it pretty perfectly. And go into Water Spout, I can now drop a Draco Meteor, plus one, and that's gonna be game, set, match. Water Spout's just gonna finish this one off. Cool. All day long, 2-0 to get things started. Moving on to our last match, and I would love to grab ourselves a perfect record with this squad. They got Zacian, they got Raging Bolt, they got Kalfari, Galarian Zapdos, which is more for dealing with Incineroars because it has Defiant ability, and then rocking out with Umbreon and Fluttermane. Fluttermane's a good Pokemon. Gotta watch out for that. But their main damage dealer is going to be that Zacian, right? That is something we're gonna have to deal with. They have no weather control, which is awesome for us. Uh, so I kind of like Kyogre here, just leading Kyogre and maybe going into, like, Electabuzz with Follow Me. That could be good. I mean, you could have double-hitting moves, but you don't have Wygro, which is really good for us. So you know what? I'm going to go Electabuzz here. Bring Arch Ludon in the back end. And I could go Serene here. I could go Roll Boom. Serene can stop first turn priority, such as Thunderclap. But, I mean, if we just have Follow Me with Electabuzz, that could be pretty good for us. That could be pretty good for us. So, you know what? I'm just going to go Electabuzz here. And I'm just going to rip up with... One Serena. I mean, you got Power Whip. I mean, you got a bit more moves here going on for you. High Horsepower. We might need that. Yeah, I'm going to go into Rillaboom. I want Rillaboom. High Horsepower is just so clutch. I mean, Rage of Bolt just has an amazing typing of Dragon and Electric. So kind of get rid of it we do have ice beam but high horsepower just helps out so tremendously and onto the zassian too zassian is another pokemon with one of the best typing steel and fairy defensively that thing is crazy strong so high horsepower again will help us out against that we like that but he goes raging bolt and clefairy which is no big deal for me i mean i could just follow me the shots you could go for drink a meteor i might just tear a water and rip a water spout that's got to be in our best interest you could have eweb but i'm cool with this i'm cool with this I'm super cool with this. Super cool with this. So I wonder what he does. They're definitely thinking hard. Like, all right, what do I do here? They might go follow me themselves. I mean, probably not, though. Like, looking at Kyogre, you're like, dude, follow me doesn't work against Kyogre. He's using a double-hitting move. Now, does Clefairy learn wide guard? I don't think it does. And honestly, now that I say that, I think it's going to pop a wide guard. <laughs> but we're, tra we're trying to slice it into straight water. We're 2 0 already, so we already guaranteed ourselves a winning record. But I would love to go 3 0. Nothing's better than a good old perfect record. So I put that little water cap on my head, and you're just gonna protect the Clefairy. That's fine. I mean, follow me is gonna help us out. You probably can't KO me with a Draco Meteor. And let's see what Raging Bolt's doing. It's still gonna take a nice chunk of damage, which is awesome here. Rage Bolt probably takes half of this, right? Let's see. A little less than half. I would have loved half there. What are you going for? You're going to go for Dragon Pulse. We soaked that. Is that going to be half? A little less than half. We are cool with that. We're going to hit another Water Spout. And we're just going to go into another Follow Me. There's, there's like, no reason for us not to do this. There is no reason for us not to do this. So I think they're going to honestly swap the Raging Bolt. But no, they should go for Helping Hand and look for the KO here. Which isn't a bad play. Serene probably would have been great here. But I don't mind this. Water Spout gonna fly here again. Give me a crit on that Rage Bolt. Let me just take it out. Get rid of Kofari in one shot. If Kofari didn't protect in one turn, then we probably would have... Actually, no. Never mind. Friend Guard did help it out. But Dragon Pulse gonna fly here. Can you soak this? Yes, sir. Yo, that's massive soak. That's a massive soak. That is massive. Now let's see who they go into. It's gonna be Zacian. Someone's protecting here. 
That's my problem. Someone's protecting him. We're out speed though. He thinks he outspeeds us. He doesn't. So is it just another follow me play? Yeah. It's just another follow me play. It's just simple. This is simple. I'm not going to overthink it. Raging Bull is going to protect. I was going to read that too and protect my Electabuzz. But what he doesn't know is my Kyogre's outspeeding. I have the Choice Scarf. He doesn't know that. So I might just be able to dump on Zassian and win this game right here. That's what's so good about Kyogre. It's so versatile. I can really use any item. Can I KO here? I think I can. Later. <laughs> yeah, this last match is just prime Kyogre doing its thing, right? This is the NFL equivalent of a wide receiver going for 300 yards and three touchdowns. <laughs> Alright, let's say 250 because 300 is exaggerating. 300 is a lot of yards. 250 has been done multiple times, but 300 is a lot. Alright, but from here, we're just going to hit this button again. We can just go for follow me. It's it's game over button. GG's. Major Bolt's going to go for double protect. Game, set, match. A 3-0 perfect sweep. Got to use the buzz here a little bit at the end. But yeah, I love this team so much. Arch Luna and Kyogre are going crazy today. GG's. You guys aren't surviving this. Thanks for playing. The power of Kyogre just on full showcase. And you are focused, Ash, or did you just survive that? Did you survive a crit? Okay, you're focused, Ash, for some reason. Are you going to take away my sweep? That would not be cool. I don't think you can pick up a KO, can you? I should go after Electabuzz. You took away my sweep. How dare you? How dare you? They pulled a jeans here. They're like, I don't get swept. I'm going to take out the Electabuzz. You little biscuit. But now I can bring out Arch Ludon. Who could be on the field for when we win this game. And honestly, I want Arch Ludon picking up the final KO. You want to play games with me? We're going to go right into you. And Arch Ludon's... We're going to trust it to land a Draco Meteor here. I think they cancel regardless, but yeah, there it is. But still, hey, 3-0 perfect record. Can't ask for more. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, Arch Ludon and Kyogre going crazy. If you guys want to push high tier and mass tier, I recommend renting this team. The rental code is obviously in the top right hand corner, so definitely check out this team. Super powerful, super strong, has a lot that you need. You got weather control, you got speed control, you can stop first turn priority, you got terrain control, you got it all. You got it all. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button to so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.